Hey YouTube, let's make a 3D printed gun. Rubber band gun. Could be fun. Rest in peace headphone users. Gonna show you how to print it out. Maybe assemble it. Gonna definitely shoot it. Probably at the webcam. Stay tuned. Enjoy the warning. Warning. The following video may contain profanity, insanity, some vanity, science, violence, and silence, guns, buns, or nuns, cats, bats, or hats. High hopes and disappointment. Oh, it's going to be disappointing. Viewer enjoyment will vary, but viewer discretion is advised. And don't shoot your eye out. Just now I am realizing I did not have my microphone turned on during the entirety of me cutting all this shit up. So what I'll do right now is answer a few questions you might be having. First question, what materials did you use? The answer would be everything you see in red is ABS, everything you see in black is PLA. Only reason I did that? It's because that's the colors I wanted. It's the material I had to print in. Question two. What is that thin stringy shit on the edge of all my prints? That is what's called a brim. You use that to get better adhesion to the print bed so that your parts don't come off in the middle of printing. Probably going to do a video on that soon. Third question. Why do I continuously cut towards myself? Answer. I'm an idiot. That's pretty much it. That and there's no real way to carve that out without, you know, cutting towards yourself a little bit. Next question. Why do I use an X-Acto blade? Obvious. Not even going to answer it. Why do I use a jeweler snips? I found the jeweler snips has the perfect edge to trim off support and help clean up some of the parts without doing too much damage. And I hate filing and sanding, so that's the next closest step. Next question, why am I hollowing out these parts that should have already been hollow when they printed? Back to the brim. The brim adds another extra layer or two to the inside of all those holes, which has to be removed. Since I don't have a drill bit set, and I'm not smart enough to just take a screwdriver tip and clean it out that way, I'm doing it with an X-Acto blade. Other than that, ask me in the comments, and I'll answer it. Alright, this will be the test of the rubber band gun at 10 feet. I have 5 shots and there are 5 Gatorade bottles. Everywhere you see an orange cap, that is where I'm going to be shooting. And I'm aiming for the orange cap. Here we go. That was terrible. Don't want to shoot. That was terrible. Starting to wonder if it's just me. That sucked. Hey, I got one. It barely moved, but I got it. So the rubber band gun sucked. Here is the Nerf Strong Arm Elite. One miss. Two miss. Jesus Christ. Why am I missing? There we go. Wow. Two for five. Maybe I just suck.
All right, I got a bit of a confession to make. I was shooting the rubber band gun with my right hand. I was shooting the Nerf gun with my left hand. I wanted the rubber band gun to win, so I tried to hamper it myself. And I still outperformed my good hand with my bad hand using the obviously superior weapon. So good news, Nerf. Your shit's still better than anything I can make. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you dislike it. Comment in the comments what you think I could have done better, or if you had a question that I didn't answer already, or even if you just want to see me do more videos of me shooting this thing. That'll all be fun. There's going to be a button right here. You know, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Not enough of you bastards click the subscribe button. Need more subscribers. I have now made like 18 videos and I have 81 subscribers. That's horseshit. Come on, if you like the video, hit subscribe. Other than that, have a nice day. Seriously, click the goddamn subscribe button.